Welcome back to the channel. This is the first video of 2024. I'm excited for a new year on YouTube. Today, we're going to take a look at the TM510 by Tessman. It's a digital smart multimeter, 4,000 count RMS. That guy right there. Let's go check it out. All right, I'm not going to bore you with a uh, unboxing video, but this is everything that you get in the box. You get a nice carrying case. You get a user's manual that's written in a couple of languages. Actually, this is, is a really decent manual, if I do say so. Uh, you get the meter itself, and you get a set of uh, leads. Now, the leads do have covers for them to help protect those, keep uh, corrosion and all that bad stuff out of it. Uh, this meter is tiny. It is, well, let's see. If I bring in a Baofeng for scale, yeah. <laughs> it's about the size of a Baofeng. Pretty simple in uh, what it can do, what its capabilities are. You can measure uh, AC, DC voltage. You can measure uh, resistance. You can also measure continuity, and it also has the non-contact uh, voltage on there. And I'll show you a demonstration of that here shortly. Really simple on the controls. Long press, is, it turns the unit on. A short press on the right button, turns on the backlit display. A long press, We'll turn on the LED light. A short press on this side. If you're taking a measurement and you want to hold that uh, data that you've captured, you can press and hold that and it will um, freeze frame uh, the display. Uh, if you hold on, if you press and hold, it turns on the non-contact uh, detection. Uh, by default, if you see the little symbol on the top left side of the screen, uh, that is a 15 minute timer. If you would like to disable that, you can uh, power on the unit by pressing and holding the power button and the uh, non-contact voltage button and it will disable that until you restart the, uh, the unit again. Let's, uh, let me grab a couple things and uh, we'll do a couple tests with it. Now, unlike some of the other smart meters that you can select uh, what you're going to be testing with this, this is actually completely auto and it doesn't get to give the option for uh, selecting those individually. Now this will probably go into my POTA bag or portable bag just so that I can, uh, you know, something something quick and easy. Uh, doesn't take up much space. It's nice and light. Let's uh, check this uh, HT battery. Right, let's check uh, just a regular 9 volt household battery. What I'll probably end up using this meter for the most is checking coax. So if I'm out in the field and my SWR goes nuts, I'll be able to check for short. So check the outside, got a contact there. If we check the center conductor, make sure we're not shorted across the, uh, the center conductor. So uh, I think that's probably gonna be the, uh, between that and checking the voltage on the batteries, it's probably gonna be my two uh, main uses for this meter. So the non-contact voltage is relatively straightforward. Press and hold on the left side, puts that into NCU mode. And when you get that near some high voltage, it'll tell you when it's hot. Now this could be particularly uh, useful if you're checking for, uh, if you've got a breaker out, or if you're looking for a, uh, you know, what particular breaker controls uh, what, what outlet, or if you're just curious if the uh, outlet's hot or not, if you're out in the field and or out at a state park or something, and and I uh, wanna see if you've got power around, then you can definitely use this to, uh, to make sure you've got power. I'd like to thank Tessman for sponsoring today's video. And we're gonna give away one of these uh, TM510 meters. So down in the comments section, if you put the, the word Tessman, that's T-E-S-M-E-N, put that down in a comment. And here in a couple of weeks, I'll draw a random comment out of the video and we'll give one of these away to one of you guys. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time on this side of the radio. See you later.